Hi Virgo, it is me Alex and I'm here to bring you your weekly tarot. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Let's see what God, Angels, and Universe has for you. Virgo, get my card life in order. Knight of Wands, speed and, and movement. Ten of Wands, things are heavy, obstacles and burden. King of Cups, Scorpio, Difficulty, Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. There's my divine partnership. Mm. I'm hearing that you guys are a perfect match, but for some reason, there's a struggle here. Feels like somebody is rushing, but so, uh, the other person is not prepared to be rushed whatever whatever you are rushing towards or whatever your person is trying to rush you towards virgo either you're not ready or they're not ready and the reason for that is these 10 wands i feel like you have to situate things in your life before um you could even oh that's interesting before you can even you know kind of take advantage of this opportunity when you hear me say oh that's interesting what I just heard was that maybe you're dealing with somebody who does not have as much responsibilities as you do. An example of that is, is if you're a parent and the person you're dealing with is not a parent, so they don't understand the sacrifices that you have to make for your kids. Another example is if you are a homeowner, if you are a property owner and your person rents or you know, um, takes public transportation, they don't understand the responsibilities and the weight that you have on your shoulders. I also kind of feel like whatever, uh, the differences between the two of you are, they're starting to come to light. Somebody's starting to complain. Somebody's starting to air their grievances. Somebody's starting to vocalize. Well, you don't ever have a lot of time for me because you're always with your grandkids as an example. Yep, lovers. Well, Knight of Wands and yeah, somebody's trying to rush into a relationship with you or maybe you're trying to rush. Well, there's the baby. Mm. Yeah, Capricorn. Mm-hmm. Mm, Ace of Swords. I don't read reversals. I get the message no matter what position the card is in. Uh, world card. This with the Queen of Pentacles kind of says to me, in matters of the heart, you guys are, have to, are going to have to come to an agreement. And as part of that agreement, it, it should be an agreement that works for the both of you, not just one of you. Yeah, this is weird because I am I keep getting that storyline like somebody wants to come to your house, but you live at home with your kids and they want to come to your house to do some things to you. But you're like, uh, -uh I don't just let strange people just show up at my house and my babies are like in two bedrooms down. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, move on. Double aces here. Um... I'm also hearing for some of you, you might not have communicated to your person that you do have a lot of responsibilities. So perhaps they feel like you're blowing them off. That's, that just came up as well. I do feel like a conversation is needed, right? You guys are on two different pages and what sits in between the, the middle is the devil and the devil just kind of represents that scary, fearful, you know, feeling like you're being deceived and you know, feeling like somebody is being sneaky. <clears throat> uh, King of Cups and the Devil card. Yeah, I kind of, mm, oh God, I don't know who's reading this is, but angels just said somebody is fearing like that you have a side lover, right? Somebody is fearing that the reason why you can't give me your love, I want to love you, I want you to be my lover, but I'm afraid that there's, you know, baby mama, baby daddy, um, in the picture who is keeping us separated or keeping us apart. Five of wands and a page of swords. 
that's it's almost like um somebody is uncomfortable and they're fearful in this because somebody has not been communicating what's really going on about these 10 wands. Um, not only that, I do kind of feel like this new person, new lover, you know, whomever this is, who's wanting your time, attention, love, and affection. Um, because you have not explained to them your situation, they're filling in the blanks, which is the worst thing anybody could do. Because typically when we fill in the blanks, we go to the negative side, right? We don't ever give people or we're, it's not typical that we give people the benefit of the doubt. We automatically assume, well, maybe the reason why I can't reach her after seven o'clock is because she's at home and she's got a husband and a whole family, right? Or vice versa. So I feel like this person's hella curious as to why you guys can't move this forward, right? And they're curious. And as part of their curiosity, they're not thinking the best thoughts, right? Because they're afraid. They're afraid of getting hurt, okay? They're afraid of you taking advantage of them or, or you know, um, cheating or lying or being deceitful. So they're curious. Um, but then angels just also said to me too, with this Ace of Swords, you owe it to this person to clarify what the holdup is, what's blocking you, what's blocking you and this person. Now, here's a weird thing. It came up in the very beginning of the reading. Um, as soon as I put the Queen of Pentacles down, what's holding this up could be also the lack of finances, right? Somebody may clarify, oh, I don't have a job or, oh, I don't have a source of income or, oh, I, I like you, but I can't afford to date you right now and take you out and buy you nice things. So I feel like with the Queen of Pentacles, as Angel said in uh, earlier with the world card, you guys need to establish and talk through what this is going to be. Like, you know, if y'all are going to be friends, right? Friends still go out for drinks. Friends still hang out and spend time and spend money on each other. So I feel like with the world card and the queen of pentacles, you have to figure out what's best for you or your person needs to figure out what's best for them. And then once they figure out what's best for them, you figure out what's best for you. You guys need to come together to have a conversation to figure out how this, this chapter is going to work. Who do I have? I have Virgo, Capricorn. I don't have Taurus here. Interest, interesting. I got Capricorn here three times. A lot of you guys may de be dealing with Capricorn, either Sun, Moon, or Venus. Okay. I mean, there are a couple of signs here, but I feel like with Capricorn here so pronounced, if you if you don't have Capricorn heavy in your chart, you could be dealing with someone who has Capricorn heavy in their chart. Yeah, this feels like a personal relationship. Ask for help from others. And and asking for help in, in the scenario where you can't bring them over because your kids are there, maybe get a babysitter or have them have a sleepover and maybe have dinner. Now, I'm not saying bring this person over and then spend the night or have them spend the night, but... I feel like they're, they're in desperate need of some sort of explanation from you, Virgo, as to what the situation is that's holding up this connection within the next few months. So that gives me hope because I feel like, yeah, this person, or maybe you were dealing with this person about two to three months. Uh, if you just met this person, I feel like you're at least going to know them for another two to three months. I hope this doesn't continue to go on for another two to three months, but I feel like at that three month mark, you guys have to close out all of this secrecy or, you know, this, this unknown information and move into clarity, right? Confirmation. Yes. That was at the bottom of the cards that fell out. It's up to you. Yeah. Uh, peaceful resolution. I love that. I feel like, and this just came in, right? This just in. Um, I feel like somebody's embarrassed here 
I feel like whatever these 10 wands are, they're embarrassed. They too are afraid that maybe if you knew this about them, you wouldn't want to deal with them. But as I'm sitting here um, adjusting the Page of Swords and the Ace of Swords, I do feel like y'all need to have a conversation to start to clarify, you know, what the back and forth is. What's the stress? What's the strife? What's holding you back? Is it me? Is it these 10 wands? Am I moving too fast? For some of you guys, yeah, your person is moving entirely too fast. So you may be creating obstacles to slow them down. Whatever this is, Virgo, you need to have a conversation with your person because whatever this is, it just feels disjointed. It just kind of feels like you guys are out of alignment. And with the King of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles, I feel like this is something that what it was or is divine. The universe sent this situation to you. I feel like there is a lot of opportunity for growth here, but I don't feel like that growth could be possible without this clarity, right? And just as I was saying that angels uh, uh, um, showed me the process of uh, growing plants, as in you have to prune and cut off the dead weight and dead energy so that a new plant or new growth is possible. So I feel like for you, Virgo, whatever these 10 wands are, baby, you're going to have to prune them. You're going to have to clarify them. You're going to have to cut them away. You're going to have to bring them to the forefront so you can remove the fear, number one, but then number two, stop the struggle, stop the strife. And then number three, allow this thing to come together as it was supposed to or is supposed to from a divine standpoint. I have Sagittarius, Gemini, Virgo, Mercury here, uh, Scorpio, Capricorn, Gemini, Capricorn, Capricorn. Yeah. Angels just also said to me too, I feel like for a lot of you guys, you this is your go-to. You always do this. You always leave your person out in the dark. And remember, readings can be flipped. So if I'm saying this is your go-to, this could be your person's go-to, which is usually to evade and leave people in the dark. All right, Virgo, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. If the reading does resonate, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I love you. Bye.